that's all for Ronnie Smith. As usual, saving four puppies out of a burning building because he's a Canadian lumberjack with a heart of gold and a soul of a firefighter. And bad things are happening to a local man who seems to be facing a crisis of his own. And I feel you, buddy. My wife is divorcing me for too many board games in the bedroom. Anyways, take it from here, John. Thanks, John. I'm standing outside the residence of a local board gamer just like you and me, who seems to have run into a newfound issue. So let's go inside and take a closer look. Yo, what's up, dude? Vom Tasso is a handsome young man who loved spending time on Kickstarter.com and spending money on endless add-ons and stretch goals. All that changed when he realized that for his hobby, tabletop gaming, he did not have any extra plastic bags to fit cardboard and plastic pieces. Uh, I was just opening a new board game like I normally do, and, and there were extra pieces that needed extra uh, storage. So when my wife buys plastic bags from the store, I get something that looks like this. Why can't you use these? Uh, y y you see, uh, there's games like uh, Gaia Project that need uh, so many different pieces for its different components of uh, varying sizes and complexities. Uh, so we need plastic bags uh, with at least three separate containers, uh, probably reinforced stitchings on the sides, uh, and definitely holes. Uh, holes in them are great for sealing so that when you close them, the air go, you know... Vom Tasso spends hours organizing his collection that needs a Calyx bookshelf, carefully avoiding paper lacerations on his fingers, claiming that this entire process soothes him. So tell me why these are differently sized. Like, what? What? What is this one? I, Wait, yeah. I've You're telling me you, you don't need different plastic bags? What? See, this is why casuals in the hobby get so disgruntled and I, I can't find any friends to play with. They're all idiots. They, they can't organize as fast as me. These people would never be able to play a 4.45 out of 5 heaviness rating on BGG game because they, they could not simply organize the game in such a way to be able to feasibly play it as a proper board game like I do. That's a great response. How about we they, talk they, about They just don't know how to, how to, what, what board gaming is about. They, they think Catan is a real game. It's, it's not. It's, it's all initial placement. All just where you put things initially and you roll the dice. That's, that's not a game. You, you can't organize your thoughts. You, you don't have strategy. It's just, it's chaos and randomness. I, I hate all these, these random aspects in games. I, I hate dice, uh, but I, I don't hate cards though. Um, but aren't cards random too? No, because they aren't dice. I have terrible luck with dice. I, I'm the guy with the bad luck. It's, it's why I can never win at these games. The, the low skill floor, low skill ceiling random games are, are just the worst. I, I'm <laughs> Do you think this deluge of poor organization is a result of the crowdsourcing industry and its endless add-ons and stretch goals? Oh, that's a high IQ question. Uh, Kickstarter deliveries, they're never on time. So it, it really hurts the resale value when I put them up on BGG Market, which means I, I have to sell the game away to my friends. They're just casuals. They don't, they don't care about quality. <laughs> but we asked Vom Tasso to invite over his friends so we could ask them about their board gaming habits. Well, if your friends aren't here, is it cool if I get their contact information so I can contact them myself? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. So we visited the first gentleman, Derek M. Bang. Derek M. Bang. How are you doing? So, Derek, how's your board game storage situation? Any problems? Uh, I mean, no, not really. Um, usually buy some plastic bags or some Plano boxes. Uh, sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I... I guess I tend to buy some uh, custom 3D uh, inserts and just for games I really like. So why do you think Vom Tasso has these issues? Because he's an asshole, a complete idiot. I mean, I'd, I'd rather play a solo game. I, I don't know, I guess he's just way too stuck up. And just to confirm, this is the list of friends, right? Wow, what a good bunch of dudes. But do they all hate him? Oh, no, no. Uh, I. I want to clarify, we're, we're not his friends. Uh, he just has so many games, and honestly, we just buy his not played games for dirt cheap. We probably saved like thousands of dollars just hanging out with this guy. To further up the story, I asked Mr. Bang if I could join him on the next game night. 
Wow, this game looks pretty fun. But how are you doing with putting it away with such few plastic bags? I don't know, dude. It's uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, uh, if it doesn't fit in the insert, then it fits in these plastic bags. Okay. And as I see Derek and his friends put away the game, I was astounded on how efficient it was. It's almost like missing out on a couple plastic bags doesn't make a difference. What are the plastic bags? These ones are too big. For these sizes, I need to get out. That's for my collection. Mr. Bang and his friends just put the game away and moved on with their life. But maybe it just wasn't even that fast. But felt fast being with your friends made the time go by just like that. What a heartwarming story from Balm Tassel there. And uh, hold on. I'm getting a text from, uh, oh, it's my, my wife's boyfriend. Uh, they say they want to play Patchwork. I don't think that's a good idea. It's in shrink for a reason. This video is brought to you by Deal or Death. And man, Daniel, this game rocked. Deal or Death is a social deduction game for five to 11 people playing as part of a company. There's two executives fighting for control and everyone else is a shareholder in the company. Except, some shareholders are sus and try to destroy the company by wasting its money. The game has the executives having one-on-one -on -one meetings with the other players, talking about shares of the company they're going to trade at the end of the game. Everyone not in this meeting networks among themselves, exchanging information about deals and who's sus. After both executives have met with every player, everyone writes down what deal they're actually doing. Then you reveal the deal and see who won the game. Oh, and we got scammed by Ashton! Wait, Ashton? Ashton did it come yeah, with yeah, this trio! This game hides information so well with executives taking people aside. You can say whatever you want. Only thing that matters is what's put to paper in the end game. Listen, I know this is an ad, but I legitimately enjoy this more than One Night Ultimate Werewolf and Two Rooms in a Boom. If you got a big group and some space to play, check out Deal or Death out on the website below. This is his list of friends, right? Wow, he has a lot of good friends. Do they all hate him? <laughs> <laughs> Do they all hate him? <laughs> That's not part of the script. I just, I just think yeah, it's funny. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> They're all really good friends, right? Or do they all hate him? <laughs> It causes the bag to be, be, be bloated and cause it to take up more space than it needs to. Like, oh my gosh, uh, the plastic bags, they all need air holes in all of them. Like, have you ever seen a, a, a Plano box actually? You know, maybe we need a Plano bag. 